So I am serving as Chief Scientific Officer of Neuromod Devices, and you know I uh, I wasn't you know intending to be working at the company. Uh, it was kind of unique how it all happened. I, I, you know I my lab has been doing bimodal neuromodulation uh, in animal research and, and also some pilot human studies, and um, we discovered that uh, playing sounds combined with electrical stimulation of the tongue. Um, or electrical stimulation of the ear uh, drove uh, some of the strongest uh, changes in the auditory brain relevant for tinnitus treatment. And uh, some folks at Neuromod Devices, uh, who you know obviously working on bimodal neuromodulation parallel, uh, came across that paper, and you know uh, we're, we're encouraged to see, excited to see that you know we had you know found those results um, independently from them, uh, and so we we got connected and and we. Uh, actually, uh, CEO Ross O'Neill um, and I, uh, we actually had a lot of similar views on how we could really push um, providing uh, this treatment uh, to a larger scale of people who need it. And you know, for myself being in academia, uh, it can be challenging at times to really um, you know, take the research and get it out there on a broad scale. Uh, and so and I thought this is a great opportunity to work um, with Neuromod devices together and put our you know, best minds together and figure out how we can push this as quick as we can and uh, to as many people as we, we can um, uh, to, to help the tennis community. And so I actually <laughs> packed up my bags uh, and uh, moved to uh, Dublin, Ireland with my family. Uh, my wife was a bit surprised at first, but uh, I, you know, she really enjoyed it there and, and you know, I, I did a sabbatical for a year and a half. Um, and, and I'm still with the company ever since I came back to Minnesota because I think it's just a great opportunity uh, to be working um, at the intersection of industry and academia uh, to really uh, make an impact in the tennis community.